Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to the teaching show. Uh, in this video, we are going to take a problem on recycle with purge. So this is been something new which we have added today. I am going to take a purge problem and I have told you that whenever there is a inert which doesn't take part in the reaction, then uh, there is a chance that the, per, uh, that the inert it doesn't leave with the product stream and it tends to accumulate in the recycle loop. Okay, so in order to prevent the buildup of the inerts, you have to draw a purge stream um, so that there is no buildup of the inerts, right? So this is the whole problem. I have taken this problem uh, from 1990 gate. Uh, this is a very interesting problem. So let's, uh, I will just explain to you if you want the uh, uh, problem statement, you can go and check online, you will find it. Okay, so there is a reaction A going to B. And um, it is given that the fresh feed, it contains 99.5% uh, of your uh, component A and 0.5% are inerts. This mixes with the recycle stream which contains only A and inert. The combined feed is fed to the reactor. Further, it is given that the combined feed cannot have inert which is more than 2%. So that is the second process specification which is given. Then the conversion in the reactor is 60%. After that you get A, B and I coming out of the reactor from which your component B which is the product is separated and component A along with the inerts are recycled back. In order to prevent the buildup of the inerts, a small purge stream is drawn. Now the problem asks you to calculate what is the ratio of this combined feed to the recycle. Okay, so let's start doing the problem right away. Uh, so uh, as I go along the problem, I will teach you some very uh, salient points which will be very helpful in uh, judging how to calculate, what to calculate. Okay, so let's start first by making a decision about what type of balance you want to take. Okay, so uh, since I told you this is uh, a reaction is taking place so you will think that okay atomic species balance or extent of reaction I can use so atomic species balance you cannot use here because A goes to B I do not have uh, what is the uh, chemical formula of A or B so I cannot take an atomic species balance that is out of picture if I go for extent of reaction there is only one reaction involving two components so how much A is consumed that much B is produced fine so equally uh, difficult is to take your extent of reaction or your molecular species balance so this problem i'm going to solve using molecular species balance so fine i have decided one thing that i'm going to use molecular species now uh, next what i will make decision about is the basis what basis to choose in this problem i have told you that whenever you have or uh, you know if you have if you know the composition of any stream then you choose that stream as the basis okay but over here i know the composition of the fresh feed i know the composition of the combined feed so i can choose either of them okay let's see which one to choose so that your problem becomes simpler let's first start by choosing excuse me by choosing my fresh feed as the basis. So let's say, say my fresh feed is 100 moles. That is now my basis. I will quickly do a degree of freedom analysis on the overall system because if I have chosen my basis as the fresh feed, I cannot go and solve here or here because the degree of freedom will not be zero. Fine. So I will have to first start with the overall balance because problem tells me that. So I am going to take degree of freedom on the overall balance. Uh, let's say it's molecular species balance. How many uh, components do I have? N5, NP and XA. So I have three components and then there is one reaction which is taking place. So there are, you know, degree of freedom that will be equal to 3 plus 1. How many uh, species balance I can take? A balance, B balance and inert balance. So minus 3. I do not have any other process specification related to these streams so process specifications none of them are given so my degree of freedom is one i cannot choose this basis and go and solve this problem then what can i do i will just do away with this basis and i will choose my basis as the 
combined feed stream to the reactor okay so let's say that this combined stream is now 100 moles so out of that i have 2 percent limitation of inert so this is 2 moles and a is 98 moles so now i have chosen my basis as the combined feed okay now let me check the degree of freedom for this okay let's apply again molecular species balance how many unknowns do i have one two and three one reaction is taking place so degree of freedom is again three unknowns plus one reaction minus how many species balance i can write three and plus i have been given one process specification that is 60 percent conversion takes place in the reactor so again minus one so my degree of freedom comes out to be zero fine so my choice of basis is correct and now i can start my problem from here so degree of freedom is zero now i will start solving on the reactor first so i can write the three balances fine and the process specification so i told you first of all start with your process specification fine so your process specification is that 60 percent of a gets converted that means how much remains unconverted that is 40 percent okay so that means 1 minus f that is the fractional conversion times what is input that should be equal to what is coming out n2 or that implies that my n2 is equal to 1 minus 0.6 that is 0.4 and you multiply it with 98 and you get your N2 as 39.2 moles. Okay. Next I am going to make use of my inert balance. That's how I have asked you to proceed. First use process specification then inert balance. <coughs> N7 should be equal to N4 direct. So N4 is equal to 2 moles. I am going to update it. 39.2 2 moles now what is left is just n3 okay so let's take b balance what is b balance nothing is going in plus generated that should be equal to what is coming out that is n3 okay so n3 is equal to whatever is generated over here i will use my fourth equation that is a balance that is how much is going in that should be equal to consumed, the A which is consumed plus what is coming out that is 39.2. So I get consumption of A as uh, 98 minus 39.2 and it comes out to be 58.8 moles. So these many number of moles are consumed. One mole consumed gives you one mole of B which is generated. So, 58.8 moles when they are consumed, they will give you same number of moles generated. So, I have N3 directly that is equal to 58.8 moles. Okay, I have solved it. Now, let's proceed to the separator and check the degree of freedom over there. Okay, how many unknowns do I have over here? I have 1, 2, 3. If I solve on the separator, okay, can I uh, get these values? Tell me quickly. Okay, I will ask you to do degree of freedom. By this time, you should be able to do it on your own. So, I have just on this three unknowns. Okay, so unknowns three. How many equations you can write? B balance, A balance and inert balance. So again I have equations which are 3. So my degree of freedom is 0. No reaction, no process specification directly or degree of freedom is coming out to be 0. Let's do that. So whatever uh, B is going in, that should be coming out. So your N3 is equal to N5 and I have 58.8 moles. Whatever I which is going in, that should be coming out. Okay, so inert in this stream which is coming out should be, uh, let's label it differently and then I will calculate N6 and my mole fraction. Okay, so let's say I have written till N6 and N7 over here. So let's mark this as N5, N6, N7. Let's say N8 is the moles of A which are coming and N9 are the moles of inert which are coming. Okay, so 
just taking a balance, uh, N2 should be equal to N8 and N4 should be equal to N9. So I have 39.2 moles of A which are coming and 2 moles of inert which are coming. Okay. So I can find out what is the total stream which is coming out 39.2 plus 2 and so my N is equal to uh, 41.2 moles. My XA is that is important to calculate because now this stream is splitting over here. So whatever is the composition of this stream, it will remain the same as this stream and this stream. Okay. So that's why we are interested in finding out the composition over here. So I am writing this stream as total flow rate of the stream and its composition. So fraction of A will be 39.2 divided by 41.2 and it comes out to be 0.9514. So remaining will be your 1 minus 0.9514 will be your inert and that comes out to be 0.0486. Okay. So now I have got the uh, what is the stream which is coming out of the separator and its composition. Now even I know the composition of my pulse stream and the recycle stream. So I am going to update it. So my XA is 0 0.9514 and 0 0.0486. Similarly over here, 486. Uh, right. Okay. So again 0 0.9514 and 0 0.0486. So now I know the composition of the pulse stream. What is left is just I have to take uh, one balance. I can take either now the overall balance because there again your degree of freedom has reduced to zero. You can go and check. So if I take overall balance, I will have to again, if I take molecular species balance, then I, there is a reaction involved. Okay. That will consume some of my time in thinking. So what I will do is easiest is I will go and solve at the mixing point. That is much easier. Okay. So next I am going to do is degree of freedom analysis at this mixing point just to show you that it has reduced to zero and then solve it okay and again uh, I will use molecular species balance because no reaction is taking place over here so my degree of freedom is zero how because now I have one and two two are nodes okay and uh, how many equations I can write there are only two components in these streams which are involved A and inert so I can write only two molecular species balance so your degree of freedom is 0. Quickly write it. What will be that? Uh, 0 0.995 of N1 plus 0 0.9514 of NR. That should be equal to 98. Now uh, taking inert balance 0 0.005 of N1 plus 0 0.0 486 of NR that should be equal to 2. These are two equations and two unknowns. If I solve these equations simultaneously, I get the value of N1 and NR. N1 comes out to be 65.6 uh, moles and my NR comes out to be, uh, let's say, 34.4. Quickly check because N1 plus NR is making up this stream. So this should be, summation should be equal to 100. If I add this up, it comes out to be 100. So my calculations are correct. Okay. Now I have, let's write down, this is 65.6 moles and this is 34.4 moles. Now I will just find out how much purge is being withdrawn, how much it will be. This stream splits into two. Okay. So I am going to write my molecular species balance on the splitting point there is only one equation and what is that because you know all the uh, these two components they appear in the same ratio in all these uh, streams so out of two molecular species balance only one is independent that's what we had seen and what that equation is that n should be equal to nr plus np i know n that is equal to 41.2 and R is 34.4. So I find out my value of NP which is now 6.8 moles. So 
and P is equal to 6.8 moles. Right? Now I have a balanced flow chart. Okay? I have my balanced flow chart. Now they can ask you any question. What is the amount of purge with, which is withdrawn? What is the recycle ratio? That is 34.4 by 65.6. But here they have asked, what is the ratio of the recycle to the combined feed? So if you do that, it will be NR plus uh, NR divided by 100. So it will be 0 0.344. So the problem is solved. So it's very simple. Whatever methodology we have developed till now, you have to just follow that and keep on solving the problem. So whether it is a recycle or a recycle with a purge, there is no need to get scared of. These problems are very easy if you just follow uh, whatever we have, you know, learned till now in this course. So thanks a lot for watching. And if you like this video and find it useful, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. That really motivates me. Thank you very much.